Welcome to step 10 of making a top-down adventure game in Pico 8. In this last step, we'll add a way for the player to restart the game if they win or lose. If you just started Pico 8, you'll need to load your game. Once it's loaded, hit escape and we'll get started. This is a very easy step with only three lines of code. The first thing we need to do is go to our update function. We need to add an else to our if statement so that if the game is over, we just listen for a button press. If the button is pressed, we run a special command that resets the entire game. But how do they know to press that button? Well, let's change our win-lose screen to tell them. Go to code tab 5 and add one line to the end of our draw win-lose function. We'll just add a line telling the player what button to press to restart the game. Remember, you can press shift x to create the x glyph. And that's it, we're done. Let's test it out. Save the game with control s and then run it with control r. Let's run into the spikes and see what it says. And there it is. Now let's press x. And there we go. It restarted just like we want. The very last thing we need to do to get your game ready to give to other people is give your game a label and a name. Hit escape and escape again to get back into the code editor. At the very top of code tab 0, put two comments. These two comments will appear in the label of our game cartridge. I'm going to put the name of our game for the first comment and my name as a second comment. Lastly, we need a good label for our cartridge. Go ahead and start your game and get to a spot in the game where you like the look of things on the screen. Now when you're ready, hit F7. You'll see a message on the bottom of the screen. Now hit escape and escape again to go back to the editor. Now hit Control S to save the changes we just made. Congratulations, you have all the parts for a working adventure game. Now you can spend the time to make your game as interesting as you want with different tiles and using different types of tiles in different ways. Just to give you an idea what I mean, take a look at these few examples that all use the exact same code. They just have different sprite tiles and use them in clever ways. These are very simple examples, but I'm excited to see what you create. If you make a game, don't forget to share it on the Pico 8 BBS. Feel free to tag me on Twitter as well, I'd love to see what you create. And finally, this adventure game you've created is just the start. You can continue adding on to this to get your game to do even more. Eventually, I may do videos that will show how to extend this tutorial's code to include things like dialog boxes, moving enemies, other inventory items, and so on. But feel free to try those things out on your own, too. Thank you for watching.